Hi friends, earlier we have seen uh, while creating a data frame and displaying on a tree view, we are able to search based on the whatever the char uh, characters or the words we entered. I can change this word to one more and these two matching records are collected. Now this is a tree view. Now we'll try to learn how we'll combine these uh, words. So a multiple word search can be created. Say along with that, I also want these two. So now whatever the words matching AL, sorry, whatever the rows matching to AL or JO, both are combinedly, they are displayed in this tree view. Now this way we can multiple words are there, then the our data, uh, data frame, resultant data frame will extend it and it will accommodate all the matching words. We'll learn all about this. Before we start working on our main script, let's understand a concept. Here is a variable and I am just setting it to a Sorry, I'll say welcome to plus two net. There are three words are there in this string. Now let me break this string by using split. So I'll say words. Words is a list uh, now. Query dot split. So now while splitting, I am using space, one single space as the delimiter, and using that I am breaking it. Now words, I got a, I get a list of words present in the string. So now this word, suppose I want to print it, I will get a print out of it. But instead of that, what I am going to do is for w in words. Now let me just print the each and every word. So this is a loop. I am just saving this and running. I will get a here. You can see the bottom at the you can see welcome to plus. So it has broken the string and created a list with three elements each word is taken and a string. But here, one more thing I will do. I will create one more list. Save, I am giving the word as, uh, the name as uh, words stop. I don't want some, uh, all the elements of the word when I break the string to be used. So I'll use words stop equal to, this is just a list I am creating. Sorry, say I'm keep, keeping inside this two, then I'm keeping and, then I am keeping or. So don't use these stop words or these words inside this one. So what I will do, I will create a resultant list here, words equal to now list. Now here I am giving set words. This is my main uh, uh, list, whatever I have created, minus set words stop. So what will happen? Now the words will have the uh, entire string minus these any of these words are present that will be removed. So I have a stop word here. You can see the two is there also there. Now if I will run now, now this if I will run now, let's just see you can see here only two words plus two net and welcome these two are there. So this is how and this concept will use. This is where we left in our previous tutorial in the part two, we discussed how this E1 bind, we have binded the key release. So as you type in the entry box, the search result comes up and the tree view. So from here we'll start. You can entire source code available, you can download it. We'll extend this code and if you are any, suppose you are not able to understand this code, then you can just follow our part one and part two tutorials because we are adding some extending this uh, concept only. Now here I'm just declaring df2 as a at the root itself because outside the function I am written because I have to create a blank data frame of the same structure of our, the, whatever the, our source is. In your case, suppose you are using some other Excel, your search result must contain the same structure. So that is why I am just creating it. df is my source data frame. So I lock then zero the first line whatever is the uh, header column so it will just copy the header column and create a blank data frame because that data frame i am going to use it inside not this line this line was exclusively inside this but it carries the data frame from previously from the main source and why i am declaring it outside the function is because i will be appending so appending means a existing data frame only i will be so i am creating a blank one so i can append it now let me just come here inside the else one and I will just copy what you have now, what you have concept we have created now. The same one I will try to copy it here. Now, okay, the words here only I will start and then there I will paste it here. 
but watch that for me it is the words are query split okay fine stop words i'll come here words stop then this line also is the same words list so this is the final whatever i am getting and inside this i am creating the for loop here i will change it so i will not use a print command here what i am going to do in fact this one also i am not going to use it what i am going to use now is the append here so i am saying df2 my data frame 2 which is a blank equal to df2 dot append here the <clears throat> append means whatever i am getting now just keep on appending because this is inside a loop based on suppose second one third one so number of words are there so each word whatever matches append it to the df2 so that's what i am doing and now what i will do i will just here append df now this i am copying sorry d didn't get copy okay i will paste it here now let me df so this is one this will return me actually true and false i have to create a data frame and append what happened this 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 part up to this point it will wherever it matches it will return true and wherever it is not matching it will return false so for that i had to based on that i will create the data frame from the source itself so this will be my resultant data frame so what happens whatever the part of the word because this is a single word we have used because here you can see and moreover here i will not use query i will use w w is my word so this is the one every time it, it once it loops it it takes the one word matches it then based on true full the data frame that particular rows are picked up and that is appended to df2 that's now so i'll get a result and one so this line i will remove it this is no more required that's all so there is one more step is involved but up to this point we can also check it rest of the things already same because the record sets are picked up from the df2 and we have inserted this we had discussed already and up to this point we have already discussed in previous so i am not repeating the same i am just running but one more issue will come here so let's just check it then we'll go because let's run this we should see the here it is now let me just give a output j o referred before assignment unborn local sorry sorry here i have to do one one mistake i did i have to see the error message here because i have started appending means i have started using it so it's a global variable i have to declare it here as global so inside this i will say because before using because here it is i am appending so before using i must declare it that it's not a local variable it's a global variable so again so i am saying jo now you see fine but what happens is here you may get a sometime error that multiple records will may come up so to avoid that we have to remove the duplicates in this so item 1 already is okay so what we are going to do is add one remove duplicate here will come out of it else now parallel to else outside the for loop before going for tree view what you will do df2 equal to df uh to drop duplicates that's all now my all my duplicates are removed so because when i am uh, two words multiple words i am searching there may be a result which matches both the words so that time there will uh, there will be a issue in the tree view so i am removed the duplicates j o a l now here it is i think something wrong here two things i missed one is the i must ignore the index because it's uh, in multiples so when the appending the one by one so multiple times uh, one record may come so i'll say ignore index equal to true 
so i am and one more thing this uh, structure whatever i clear created here in a global every time i have to initialize to blank otherwise what happens one over the other it will be appending so every time this function is called or any key press again the df2 has to initialize and then the loop should work. otherwise what happens whatever the previous data frame or rows are there again that will repeat so i have to make it blank means here it makes a blank i'll write it one blank data frame so every time this uh, whatever is earlier such results are there that is there and i am just running this let me just check it here yeah here it has come now jo so jo okay here it is giving me a warning that use uh, concat instead of append because that is in the future versions that append they will uh, pandas is going to remove it okay jo then i will remove it al so fine now combine these two so you can see both the th records whatever is matching with al and matching with jo both have come up and we have removed the duplicates also even i can add few one more thing say uh, al jo mo nothing is matching mo it, it's n you can see it's okay more records have come up because single word h wherever single word h is there it has come up so like that the multiple words we can combine it now one more thing is suppose you want to display here how many records are found against you moment it such as results have come we can display it then we can save it also even we can copy suppose this particular result i want to copy it to my clipboard so i can paste it somewhere else that also we can add it we will move next to that that's all friends I'll request you, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we add new new tutorials. We frequently do that also. And if you have any doubt, suggestion, questions, ideas, use the comment section below to post it. Please share this with your friends and thank you for watching.